1983 was the year that the decade began to define itself, with many staples of the 80s getting their start. From cartoons to talk shows, 1983 offered a glimpse of what the rest of the decade might have in store for us. Michael Jackson's thriller seemed to get bigger and bigger as the year passed, and it was helped by his mind-bending dance moves that would emerge this year. The year was also a turbulent time, with the rise in tensions surrounding the Cold War, Lebanon, and Grenada on everyone's minds. The year began with an eruption on January 3rd. Mount Kilauea slowly began erupting on the Big Island of Hawaii, and it would continue spewing lava for the next 35 years. On January 18th, the International Olympic Committee restored the Olympic medals of Jim Thorpe, which he won 70 years earlier. They had been stripped from him when it was discovered he had been paid $25 for playing semi-professional baseball. On January 23rd, the action-packed TV series The A-Team, starring Mr. T and George Papard, premiered on NBC. The show followed soldiers of fortune as they tried to clear their names for a crime they did not commit. February 28th was the day the final episode of MASH aired on CBS. The two-and-a-half-hour finale, titled Goodbye, Farewell, and Amen, was the most-watched television broadcast in American history, with 125 million viewers tuning in. On March 3rd, Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Terry Bradshaw entered Doctors Hospital in Shreveport, Louisiana to have surgery on his throwing arm but the four-time Super Bowl champion entered the hospital under an assumed name. The alias he registered under was Tom Brady, the name of a future quarterback that would go on to win even more Super Bowls than him. On March 25th, Michael Jackson performed on a television special called Motown 25, and on this night, while performing his song Billie Jean, Jackson mesmerized the world with his signature dance move that would forever be known as the Moonwalk. On April 8th, in front of a live audience and televised nationally, magician and illusionist David Copperfield made the Statue of Liberty disappear. A curtain was raised to hide it, and when the curtain came back down, the Statue of Liberty had vanished. On April 18th, the U.S. Embassy in Beirut, Lebanon was almost completely destroyed by a car bomb explosion that killed 307 people, including the suicide bombers and 241 Americans. The terrorist attack was carried out in protest of the U.S. military presence in Lebanon. May 25th brought us the third installment in the original Star Wars trilogy. Return of the Jedi was released nationwide and made $450 million that year. It would be 16 years until another episode of Star Wars would be released. On June 18th, aboard the space shuttle Challenger, Sally Ride became the first American woman to launch into space. Over six days, the crew's complex tasks included launching commercial communication satellites for Indonesia and Canada, and deploying and retrieving a satellite using the shuttle's robotic arm. On July 25th, the world's first dedicated hospital ward for AIDS patients opened at San Francisco General Hospital. Within days, its 12 beds were fully occupied. The ward was run by a psychiatric nurse named Cliff Morrison and an all-volunteer staff, from nurses to janitors, who offered compassionate and holistic care to AIDS patients. On August 30th, the Space Shuttle Challenger launched on its next mission and carried Guy Bluford, the first African-American astronaut, into space. This was the first night launch of a space shuttle and many people stayed up late to watch the spacecraft lift off from Cape Canaveral, Florida. On October 4th, 
the first Hooters restaurant opened for business in Clearwater, Florida. The delightfully tacky yet unrefined restaurant was started by six businessmen who had no previous restaurant experience. On October 17th, the Sally Jesse Raphael show first aired. The talk show was one of the first audience participation issue-driven talk shows to have a female host, which predated the Oprah Winfrey show by three years. On November 2nd, in the White House Rose Garden, President Ronald Reagan signed a bill creating a federal holiday on the third Monday of every January to honor civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. On December 2nd, Michael Jackson's music video for Thriller was broadcast for the first time. The video, featuring a zombie dance number, became the most played music video of all time, which helped to fuel Jackson's popularity and push record sales higher for his Thriller album. To close out the year, on December 31st, the 1984 Apple Macintosh television commercial first aired in select cities just before midnight. The advertisement, which would air nationally during the Super Bowl, introduced Apple's first personal computer by stating, On January 24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh, and you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984.